This is why you should play Aldous. Aldous lore is nothing probably written when Mountain employees were very tired. He is a guard of a maze, a god came to punish him but instead of punishing it, he gave up power to Aldous and he is still a guard. Then comes Selena and there is a war going on. That's it. Do you like the lore? Like the video. If not, then subscribe. Hurry up, it's absolutely free. Now let's talk about his passives. It's the thing most of the player ignores. He gets the seals based on the damage he deals in his fourth basic attack, but not more than 50% of his max SP. Even though it's very useful, no one pays attention to his passive stacks. All they see is next week, which is provided by the first skill. The first skill, just wait till I get found. This is the ability that defines Aldous as one punch man. It Aldous main ability and main damage source. It enhances the next basic attack. Since it is count as a basic attack, it can give you shield and that is not to be underestimated. The main part of this ability is each time you kill the minion or creeps or enemy heroes, it gives you stack and each stack increases its damage by 8. And the stacks caps at 500. So yes, Aldous can one punch a marksman or maze with just one punch at 500 stacks. Since it's a main source of damage and has less cooldown, you will be spamming this a lot. And don't forget to trigger the passive using this. It gives you shield which can give you extra sustain in the team fights. Then comes his second ability, you can't. This ability alone can be the ultimate ability for some heroes. It gives you burst of movement speed, you are immune to damage from the basic attack and after the duration or the reclick, explodes and stuns the enemy into radius. This ability is nightmare for the marksman. Aldous comes at you, punches you to the death and you can't even do one damage. And in the last, his ultimate. You can't be low HP. His ultimate reveals all enemies in the map and allows him to target one of the opponents to charge that day. He can cancel it on the mid -wave. On the impact, it crashes with damaging the opponent and stunning. Since it cancels the recalls too, so most of the time if you lock to the low HP enemy, it's a sure kill. Since you are a fighter, you will probably go to the top lane unless you are in a super high rank, where you can play as an ADC in the bot lane. You are very stack reliant so just collect the stack and if your team is asking for the help just say you need more stack and farm. If they talk too much just mute them. After you feel like you are done farming ultimate for a team fight. Wait who does that? Wait until someone is low enough and ulti them for easy chaos. Kill secure of course all for your stacks. Since you are immune to the basic attack in a team fight you should try some MR in your builds for those big spells if you get stunned. And you must be spamming the first skill so mana boots are also a good choice. This is the build I recommend for you. For a battle spell, take the flicker. Spring can be considered too. For emblem, fighter emblem is good with these setups. Oh and the last thing, you are a late game hero and unstoppable in the late game. If it happens to lose you your game, it's your team fault for not giving you enough space. So this is it, I hope you enjoyed the video, click the like and subscribe button, I don't care if you hit it with the enhanced basic attack or alt, use ulti to smash it, just click it. So have a good day, as always, thank you for watching.